Hello guys, it's CJ, and today we're going to be scrolling through some sketchbooks that I've completed while I was in high school. I hope you all enjoy the video. The first one is this one, which is the first sketchbook that I filled out during high school. And I think it's really cool. I really like the stickers that I put on top of it. And the stickers on this side as well. I think they're just really cool. I really like them. I like how colorful they are and I put some challenges here that I wanted to accomplish in this sketchbook which was more landscapes, more color, um, more thumbnails slash construction notes of paintings that I'm going to be doing and I didn't want to do anything in pencil and also try some building. Here I drew a little painting of a scene from Ariete. I really like this scene and the paintings in Studio Ghibli obviously are just so amazing but um, I would say that this painting turned out pretty alright. I feel like if I were to do it again now, it would obviously turn out a lot better but maybe I will. But in the meantime, I think the sketch page turned out pretty well. I mean, I don't think it's ugly or anything but I just feel like there's things that I could have done better. And here I wrote some little notes of like, oh, things I've learned while painting this. And I put try underpainting and I put so sometimes not as much detail is better. This page is my opera singer character. This sketchbook has a lot of concepts of her. And I was trying to flesh out her character some more and her era is kind of like, the transitions between the renaissance era into the 18th century and i wanted to communicate that with her wardrobe so i did a lot of research into her how people would dress in italy around that time and she's italian and she has this crazy hair because it's like 18th century so it's like their hair is all over all over the place super big and i thought that was just so much fun to play around with and I also wanted to give her a lot of rose motifs and you'll see that later as we continue on with the sketchbook and here is another drawing of her it's really long it goes through both pages I wanted to focus on the hair and try and have it as um, exaggerated as possible you have these big feathers and these rose you know again going with the rose motif and you have her face and her dress and it looks like a little bit of a rib cage here, but I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool design choice and it has some pretty big roses here in the bottom. On this page, we have a drawing of a fairy. I wanted, I saw this like post in Pinterest quite a long while ago where it was this makeup that somebody did like a special effects makeup that somebody did where it was like huge butterfly wings and somebody commented under that post saying that that's how they think real fairies would look like and it got me a little bit inspired to do something like that and you'll probably see more of these uh, later on in the sketchbook but I really like the shape of the hair and like the pink and the colors and the green in the eyes I don't like her expression in this piece though I feel like she looks a little too tired and like she just woke up from a nap. Like while I was doing this, I was like, hmm, she looks a little, little weird. But yeah, other than that, I think it's pretty cool. And here we have our first collage with a little mirror here. I wanted it to have a theme of like exploration and going through all these different parts of the globe while still trying to keep a main color theme. So you have like maps and I don't know what this is, like a little statue and like pictures of different places and a globe. And I think it turned out pretty cool. And it was kind of like the start of something new within this sketchbook. I haven't really done collages anymore. I don't know why I just kind of fell out of touch, but I think I should get back into it. Here I was doing some uh, expressions with my character. Oh, her name is Rosalinda or Rosa for short, um, instead of just calling her my character, because that's a little bit tiresome at some point. So Rosalinda, I was doing some character expressions with her, trying to figure out like her personality and getting a grip of her likeness and who she is. And here I was planning out, because at the time I was in AP art, and my art teacher wanted to try something different this year and wanted to include 
plannings for the painting. I think it was definitely stepping out of my comfort zone because I never really plan for a painting. I kind of just do it. And I think this became a good habit of planning for paintings because other than that, I feel like they wouldn't have been as impactful as they were. Maybe in the future, I'll show you them. And here's another page of Rosalinda, a more casual outfit, you know? So she, like, I wanted to design her how she would look like other than her big elaborate dresses and stuff. And here we have another collage. I think this one is really cool. This here in the background is cutouts of an oil painting study I did while in art we did a plein air painting of outside and this was the sky. I really liked how it turned out and it was really the main part that I liked about it. So I cut it up and I put it in my sketchbook. And these black and white photos, I feel like they provide a nice contrast while still keeping within the theme. And this fabric print, it like gives a nice flow to everything. And I think it's really cool. I really like this, this collage. Oh, here are more collages. I think this one has to be one of my favorites. I think this one, this collage is probably my third favorite and this one is my second favorite. I really like the face here and the space theme. I was really into space at the time when I was doing this. I don't really know why. And this collage is kind of whatever. There were some stickers in a college book that I had while I was going to Portfolio Day. So I put them in here. Oh, and. The stickers on this page, most of them were also from a college uh, book, if not all of them were from a college book. I really like these ones. These kind of like fashion stickers, I think they're really cool. The next page, we have some portraits of my character. I really like how these came out and I feel like I was able to capture her likeness and attitude really well. And these flower stickers, I really like the vintage feel of them. I just feel like this page really captured her essence, her stoic essence, her presence really well. And this page, this is my favorite collage. I really, really like this collage. All of these are cutouts from a college book. And I like these, these little insects here and these buttons. It provides a lot of visual interest without it being so overcrowded. And I like the composition of it. I think it's a really cool collage and here i was doing some sketches of a creature design a sage for short it was just some uh, concepts for a little fantasy world i was working at the time i actually am still working on this fantasy world but it is extremely different than how it was when i was making concepts here it is extremely different and i'm still working on it but it and it has like a different name and everything and here are some more actual plannings for pieces here was the Sea of Blood. Oh, let me give some con uh, context because this can sound pretty weird out of context. But I was doing my AP portfolio based off of uh, the theme of the end times that it is told in the Bible. Because that previous year, I was doing my portfolio based off of Genesis and like the creation. So I thought it would be a cool parallel if I did the end times as how it is told in the Bible. And I'm really proud of these pieces. And I think I'm mainly proud of them because of the planning that I was able to do. So it created a good habit. And here I wanted to include a very big piece. This was a, a, a sketch of my friend. I don't really like how it turned out. So that's why I covered it up with uh, sticky notes. Um, here, I really like this piece. I, well, I really like this sketch because the piece did not turn out anything like this because I ran out of time so I had to redo it so it stayed within the time frame but I really love how this sketchbook spread turned out I did this with paint pens and I feel like it has such an eerie like goopy presence to it I just feel like it looks so mysterious and fun and I was doing some plannings and here I was doing the planning for one of the last ones this one I think was the second to last one this one also turned out extremely different. I really like how they, um, how it, the new one turned out. Oh, this one. Yes, I was, I had a original idea for war, which was going to be like two angels fighting, but I didn't like that idea. And I feel like a lot of the pieces that I've been doing are very kind of like symbolic. 
So I wanted to continue with that theme. And this is the revised sketch for war. And I did not go for this one as well. I went for a lion fighting a snake and I feel like that just looks a lot better. And this was the planning for the final piece, God's Coming. Originally, I had two cherubim at the sides and him holding out his hand and a star to kind of signify like the light of heaven. This would have been such a cool piece if I have done it like this. But again, I ran out of time and I was struggling to finish it. So it did not turn out like this. It's, it's kind of like cut out, like the cherubim are cut out and it's just the hand and the star. Oh yes, I really like this, uh, this spread. Um, it's more Rosalinda drawings. I really like this sketch. It's a more casual, like, nightgown look. And I drew her hair down, and I really like how long it is. And her, like, proportions are not that well <laughs> in this piece. But I think it turned out really well. And I might turn this into a painting. I might. Very strong might because I haven't returned to this character in quite a while. But she's still in, she's still in my old noggin. She's still in there. Here I did a painting of her to show how her colors looked. And I wanted her to have jet black hair. But it turned out looking more blue because I wanted to have it kind of like light. But I didn't want it to look just be white because then it would make the hair look greasy. But then it just turned out looking blue. But other than that, I really like it. I like the detail and like the eyes and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see it that well, but the detail in the eyes are pretty nice. And yeah, she's like singing, she's doing her opera stuff. And here is another full body kind of like casual look again. My art style is very different from here. It's nice to see how my art style developed and looking back at old sketchbooks and how it was. And here are the Celians. I've mentioned them before in another page. The Sages, I've mentioned them before. But here are the little Celians. Well, not little. They're actually very, very big. Um, I really liked them. They like with their butterfly eyes. I feel like they're really cool. And I, it's just a fun creature design. And here's a little person to show the scale. But this is not a real one. I wanted this to kind of look like a mural. So it has like some cracks in the wall here. And yeah, I really like this, this drawing though. I think it looks super, super, super cool. Here, oh, here's a building. So I, I did one of the challenges. I did the challenge of doing a building, which it didn't really turn out well. The perspective is a little off, but you know, you gotta start from somewhere, I guess. And here is a drawing of Kratos, the god of war. I really like it. I think it's cool. His face it feels like a little bit squished and his face didn't really turn out well. But other than that, I think it's a really cool drawing. I really like how it came out. And here's another collage. This one is pretty cool. They're cutouts from a magazine. And I put like bugs over their eyes to kind of like show some mystery and I really like it. I also taped in some of these flowers here, like these buttons that are in the shape of flowers for more of that visual interest. Here's a little sketch that I did of like a tree and it has these faces incorporated into it and it has like a little house. Maybe it's like home of like a fairy or something like that. I showed my friends and they said that it looked like a Muppets. <laughs> I kind of see it now, especially this one without the nose. But yeah, a little silly, a little silly goofy. And here we're going at the end of this sketchbook, which um, a skull study. I feel like this wasn't a good study. Like, yeah, it looks good in a way, but it was just a drawing of a skull. I don't know if I should really call it a study because the form of it, I feel like I didn't really capture the form of the skull. And if I were to do it now, I probably would not incorporate the shadows and the details. And I would probably stick to trying to figure out the core elements of it. And here are some gesture poses. I love doing gesture poses. They're a fun way to incorporate motion into it. 
and they were timed so this one is one minute and these ones are two minutes and this one is five minutes and yeah that's the end of this sketchbook to top it off we have a little drawing of an angel that has a sword and like a little person standing on it a little seraphim well not a little seraphim they're pretty big but yeah that includes this sketchbook and i hope you guys enjoyed it so let's move on to the next one so this is the second part of this little sketchbook spread this other sketchbook that i filled out during high school i think the stickers are better than this one i like the colors the texture um here is the back a lot of like skateboard brands my friend they brought this little pack of stickers and it includes a whole bunch of like little skateboard brand stickers and i think they're really fun so i put them in my sketchbook so the first page with more <laughs> stickers um i had this little st sticky notes thing that i would transfer between sketchbooks but sadly it finished so i can't continue transferring it i had challenges here but obviously i have a sticker that i cannot look through but some of them are cover up more empty space more paintings I, I don't know what the other ones say but yeah i think this one says more experimentation yeah i think that's what it says and here i was playing legend of zelda skyward sword one of my favorite uh, legend of zelda games i really love it the colors are so much fun and i was doing a sketchbook spread of Jairahim or gyrahim but however you want to pronounce it it's a weird name and I think it is so much fun. And my dad, he had these little playing cards, like these tiny, tiny little playing cards that he got from Dave and Buster's and he let me keep them. And instead of just having them around, um, I put them in here. So I would see them every time I look to this sketchbook, you know, a higher chance of seeing them. And this collage, I really like this collage. Um, and my other one, I had other collages but i feel like you can see the growth and continuation of experimentation within these like here i have some 3d flowers and it made the sketchbook pretty hard to close like it, it made it pop up a lot and i didn't really like that but it looked cool so we kept it and it has these different type of flowers and i really like it and i got this little frog patch from um hot topic and like yeah sure i could have used it like a normal person and put it on my clothes but i didn't want that i just wanted to put it in my sketchbook because i would prefer it in my sketchbook than in my clothes to be honest but yeah it's a little mirror that says beyond me i thought it was so different at the time like that is so well anyways we have this drawing of herbosa i like this very um contrasting red rectangle i don't know what the purpose of it was it was just to add some something <laughs> but yeah i think it's pretty cool i think it's a little messy though the sketch but i mean sketches are messy so here we have some wacky expressions i think they're really fun and here we have this sketch like this is like sketch with with, with sparkles in it and it was a drawing of a statue i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this statue before but if you haven't well here's a little demo of it if you will and i really really like i like the yellow sticky notes and you know purple and yellow go well together and i like how the yellow sticky notes kind of look like a window like it's like a stained glass window and it just adds a nice variety to it and kind of like a a focal point because that purple stands out really nicely from the yellow sticky notes here i was this is for the same fantasy world that i brought up in my other sketchbook with the sages and the celians here we have the sirens a lot of s words <laughs> but here we have the sirens and um in greek mythology they have like wings and i wanted to incorporate that but i still want them to look aquatic so i came up with an idea that they have like the same type of wings as the flying fish 
so they can still walk and stuff and but they can they have like a tail so they are still very mobile in the water and they can like glide and stuff like that and i think that was really really fun and here we have some writing just pretty much explaining what i just said but in more detail and we have a closer up in the jewelry and i think it's really cool it gives a lot of avatar vibes like the navi clans i think that was a main inspiration of the type of jewelry that they have oh oh i love this page it is so modern it is just so modern anyways we have the siren spire gigantic rock formation that has a like coral um overlapping and intertwined within it and this is where the sirens will live in like this is like an outpost and they they would live in the top here so that when it was time to like attack they um they would jump from the top and they would glide all the way down since they have those wings and i thought that was really cool this was also inspired by sea of thieves which um i forgot which one it was but it was a tall tale of the davy jones and like the mermaid queen or the siren queen or whatever her name was but a lot of inspiration came from that game that game is so much fun and so pretty and this is a little geode here we have some more concepts i think i drew a lot of these guys in this sketchbook and i wanted i wanted them to kind of give mermaid vibes so they have like the tail and i changed it up so it's not like one mono fin but it's like a dual thing fin and the wings they will well, quote unquote wings they will wrap around the legs and they will kind of look like a tail when they're swimming underwater here we have a little bison that you can barely see but it's there you can probably see the eye really well it's just a little bison i really like them i think they're fun here's a little sketchbook spread that i did not finish but the plan was to have like a whole bunch of these portraits here within these little white squares and it was gonna have like different magazine companies like this one's gonna be vogue and it was gonna be like stuff like that and it was gonna be a little fun little sketchbook spread but obviously i did not finish it oh here <laughs> this blank page for just a bunch of silhouettes but i was trying to design a shoulder piece armor and i wanted to see which silhouette looked best so i drew a whole bunch of these little tiny tiny little silhouettes and to see which one looks good and here are more siren concepts how it would look like with the wings wrapped around the legs and how they would swim and stuff like that and how it would look like when they're uh, gliding like a silhouette from how they would glide and it's pretty cool it's pretty cool pretty fun i like a whole bunch of like silhouettes that were all next to each other i think it looks pretty cool oh my goodness okay <laughs> let me give some context here and here i was going through like a little art block where i had a lot of difficulty trying to make myself draw and here was the end of that as you can tell um it's like this whole sketchbook spread which i think is pretty fun this face is a little weird i don't like this face that much and we'll just leave it at that so let's just not look at it um this is a little biker girl that i saw in uh instagram i saw a post of this girl on instagram and i was like that is so cool with her like big hair and her on this motorcycle i thought it was so cool and i just wanted to draw it and i did and i really like how it turned out and i drew this portrait and i also thought it was pretty fun the shape of it was pretty smooth pretty silky and i really really like it here we have a drawing of rosalinda so another drawing of her you know they weren't as much in this sketchbook as they was in the previous one but i like these uh striped kind of pattern in her hair i think it looks super super cool and kind of gives like a frankenstein's bride aesthetic to it that i honestly think i'm going to keep and i just think that it's really fun and really cool and she's in another singing position since she is an opera singer and this page i really like this because a part of her lore is that she had these robots that she would create that were called Koklitsa. And she would be like the only human performer in her in her opera shows. 
and she will have this Koklitsa that will be the other stage presence and they will all look like these bizarre robot porcelain dolls and here's her painting them and I thought that was a pretty cool insight on her lore and I really like how these look. I really had to return to her character because it was such a fun universe that I wanted to do it and it was going to be kind of like a murder mystery so it was going to be like super super duper fun and I really want to return to it but I am working on another project and I wonder what this is like what is this oh okay 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 this was some um planning for my selective works in my ap class i wanted to tell kind of like a, a narrative with the selected works which were just five pieces and i have like some brainstorming of what i wanted to do and since i was drawing the sirens a lot i wanted to draw the siren mythology but in my narrative and i did not go for that <laughs> Uh, instead, I went for a theme of escapism. So a lot of the so like the things that I drew were kind of like a way of relaxation for me. So it would be like video games, stretching, listening to music, uh, showering, <laughs> and collaging, which are all pretty much relaxation points for me where I can just wind, like unwind. Um, most of these are the same, but I do like to go on walks now and just spend time outside feeling the wind <laughs> and here we have some thumbnails for the video game one and i want i put moody slash gloomy because i wanted to have that very blue lighting and here actually this is very interesting because this was also this this was going to be the main antagonist of my fantasy world and her name well at the time i didn't know what her name was actually i think i did and her name was Vendetta and her design changed so much and I she is still the main antagonist so she's like the one constant in all of this evolution of this world and it is so fun to see where she started like where her design started and where it ended up and it, it is just so fun to see that here we have more sketch it more thumbnails for the selected works so this one is the collaging one and it's a little thumbnail of me right here you could probably like barely see it because it's like light uh pencil but it is me and like a whole bunch of collaging materials like scissors and papers and stuff like that and i was actually thinking of incorporating actual things that i would use for collaging so but it will be a painting of me collaging but the painting was a collage. I don't know, it, there was like something there that was pretty cool, so I wanted to incorporate that. And here, I got posters for my room. So I'm, I was just designing how I wanted to lay it out, and I was thinking of putting like fairy lights in between them to have like that lighting that was pretty cool, but I didn't do that, but I got the posters, <laughs> which are fun. And this is the last page. I kind of like just wanted to be done with this sketchbook, so I just did some random doodles. I know there's like a word or like a term for this where you just let your brain go and you just do random doodles. And I did that and it was pretty fun. I like doing that. It's like very therapeutic. But that is the end of this sketchbook and the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed going through a little walk through memory lane with me as i went through the sketchbooks that i filled out during high school and it was pretty fun looking back and i hope you guys had fun looking back with me and i hope to see you all in the next video bye